Hello. <clears throat> Thought I'd do another devotional in front of this, this great sign um, um, for my uh, granddaughter's wedding um, with it fully decorated with the flowers. So you get the full effect. And uh, keeping with the verse shared, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Ecclesiastes 4.12 for Matthew and Ivy, May 22nd. 2021. Today is the day. I'd like to share a devotion um, of, based on that verse by Charles Spurgeon. It was by such cords as these that we were originally held in bondage. A three cord strand held in bondage. I do not know how many threads were in them, how many strands they contain, not three perhaps, but 30, nay, 30,000 evil influences were dragging us down and holding us fast. All I do know is that they were not quickly broken. It took God's dear son to break them, the father's love and the spirit's power and our own faith and repentance begotten in our hearts from above. It was by such cords as these cords that are not quickly broken, threefold cords, that we were delivered from the power of sin. The form of the metaphor changes a little as we use it now. We were in a horrible pit by reason of sin. Sin always sinks us, and we were dropping deeper and deeper into it and into the mire that was at the bottom of it. How have we got up? There was no ladder placed for us to climb. We did not cut notches in the pit side by our own unaided strength, and so help ourselves up and light up to light and liberty. No, God had pity on us. He, in the person of his son, came to the pit's mouth and looked down with the eyes of love upon us. Christ's love, Christ's death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. These are another threefold cord. Let me read those again. Christ's uh, love, Christ's death, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. These are another threefold cord. As soon as our eyes were open and we saw the rope swinging, this rope swinging as it were in front of us, God gave us strength to leap to it, and He did He did the rest. Nay, He did that for we had not believed, for we had not believed unless the Spirit had prompted faith. He drew us with the cords of love, and with the bands of a man. And it is by such cords as these, threefold cords, that we are not quickly broken. That we are now, no, let me read that again. And it is by such cords as these, it is by such cords as these, threefold cords, cords that are not quickly broken, that we are now held captive by creation, the claim of which we understand better than ever now, by regeneration into the mass mystery of which they and we are being daily further led by consecration, both on God's part and on our part. We are his and his forever. These cords bind us to the horns of the altar. And now abideth faith, hope, love, these three. But the greatest of these is love. I think this is another threefold cord by which we are bound. Bound to one another, bound to the cross of Christ, bound to this blessed book a and, and bound to heaven. And now abideth faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. I think this is another threefold cord by which we are bound. Bound to one another, bound to the cross of Christ, and bound to heaven. Mr. Spurgeon has a way with words. So, again, brothers and sisters, let's let a, a marriage between a man and a woman um, be a witness to us about the marriage that we, we all share in Christ, a marriage to God, bound to God by a three-cord a three-cord strand, not easily broken, no, not capable of being broken. God's cord is that strong. Father, thank you for the love 
that you give us that allows us to overcome, allows us to live victoriously, allows us to be sure that the day is coming when we will live free from any kind of bondage by any other bad cause, free from the evils of this world, free to live fully in your glory. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with me. God bless you.